Hi, welcome. I've been making article about Sardi Extra. We have now 123 icon themes to choose from. And now it's for me time to have some fun. So what I do, um, first off, we may be something technical. Uh, check out these three. You know when, when this is the first time you ever see Arch Labs. You should read about the things you really need to know. And what you really need to know is... is, 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 is need to know that's what you really need to figure out and see and so follow these uh, guys here if if you're stuck yeah, go there so anyway um these three are very important those are the auto start so whatever is in here is going to be started this is the menu but i have changed already my menu this is not the standard menu this is the ob menu generated it's in the tutorial so it's a new menu a longer menu with all applications on the system being generated because i tell the system to generate a pipe menu every time i right mouse click it's fast enough to make a new menu because there are no icons so if i decide to have icons as well that then it's gonna take time because it needs to load i don't know 100 120 icons all these applications will get an icon so that takes time so I won't do that. And now after saying all that, let's just have some fun. So Arch Labs R2T2 has this thing up here, variety. And that's what we're looking at. And uh, let's have a nice wallpaper. Let's move this out of the way. Uh, da -da -da -da, to the left, a bit smaller, small enough. And let's also activate screen key so you see what I'm pressing so control a uh, super shift D uh, and then I type screen key and that's the program you're now seeing here so let's start with having something nice this is a nice one yeah why not so this wallpaper banner <laughs> goes on and on forever I don't like this one so alt T it's trashed now alt T it trash it trash it trash it Trash it, trash it. So this is when you're waiting for your downloads and stuff that's coming in and you, you have uh, some time on your hands. Then you go and you have a look at your variety themes because variety gets his themes from desktopers. You go to the preferences and it's a great website. All my wallpapers are there on desktopper.co slash Eric Dubois. You don't have to ask me they're there everything is there and uh, you can just click and choose whatever comes from the net and of course your own wallpapers because we also see some of my own selections but these are things that are coming mainly from desktopper and when i when it's time to well so to waste some time let's say time to waste some time then you press alt t to trash it and when you find something nice you do alt f which is favorite. Um, so, okay, well, um, where is this nice picture I saw earlier on? Let's move back to here. I did like that one, so, okay, close. So we have chosen our wallpaper and then we have this file manager and we have Tunar, the XFCE file manager, which is quite fast, crazy fast in emptying trash. It's like, boom, it's not there anymore. If you do the same in Nemo and Cinnamon, it takes like forever. I don't know what the difference is. I do like Nemo, but the trash can is, is takes forever to uh, clean itself. But uh, anyway, so we can leave it at this and say, oh, that's nice. That's what we want to have. But we have now lots of icons. So let's have a look and see what icon theme we could combine with these colors. So we have Sarti Polo, we could combine, we have a red background, let's take a look, red, yellow, orange. So let's take some selections, we could go for this one, for this one. What else? Uh, that's too far away. Why not this one? That's a nice one to go with that and then back this one no 
maybe why not this one still a bit in the neighborhood of the red maybe too yellow for you but it's possible maybe this one it looks also very nice with this wallpaper really think i'm gonna keep this one after the tutorial well not after the tutorial now i'm gonna keep it now we could go for this one as well that's not too bad either another one but then we have these white icons here you have to like it to keep it maybe this one also a nice one but then you have these blue icons maybe those are not suitable for the wallpaper why not this one also a nice one with this wallpaper so we're looking at the hundred well not 123 but some of them that the ones that are orange yellow and red they are the ones that i'm choosing because of the wallpaper and i did find my one the one i liked was 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 oh my god this one yeah i really like this one so i have the sardi mono it's always been my preference and we have this yellow um well buddha kind of color and that's beautiful in combination of okay so what else what um what can we do more well if we say we're happy with this already we could change our conky maybe from color but actually <laughs> the conky is not not that bad it's orange we could make it red or something or can, we could make it well i think we don't have anything to do with it my guess but anyway if you really excuse me think that um, it needs some work then you go to here running conkeys and then you open the file and the file let's make it a little bit more like this uh, okay come on let's move it to the other place there are some shortcuts you should know like this one is a super nice one and then you can drag it down here so you can read everything and then it's up to you um, this little button up here gives us some colors so this is a red color you might consider to make it red and let's try Control c cancel uh, orange orange this can't be orange this can't be orange so uh, I, my guess is this is orange or this one is orange let's see without reading the code damn i should have read the code <laughs> So we inside here color six. So control Z. Color six is what is orange now. And now it's red. Question is of course, yeah, is it better? I don't believe it's better. But anyway, that's not the idea. I wanted to tell you guys how to do it as well. So control Z save and done. So Conky has been changed if you want to. Then up here we have uh, the tint panel. The tint panel is changeable. You can change the tint to GUI and we can go for a color that's more yellow. Maybe this one is more the kind of yellow we want. And it's now, oh, I was waiting for the top. <laughs> it's now at the bottom. So when you say yeah that's all good and well but don't want it on the bottom you are in control the ultimate control is here tint to GUI double click it and we have to look for an, an element an element that says put it not at the bottom uh, but at the top apply it and there you go so it's now here and that's um, what we want to do so we have changed our panel and actually the color doesn't need to be changed because otherwise we'll, we would have problems problems in the sense of that we really need to go to a hidden not a hidden but a protected part of the system and the tint to e tint to uh, themes are in here so where they are in a protected part user share tint to so what we should have done then is open folder as root, make a copy and change things around in the code. But that's not necessary. We have our theme that 
goes well with it. So basically, um, I'm thinking, can I do something else? Not really. So we've changed the icons. So we could change, let's see, this is red. This is red, arc dark. Let's make it um, an orange kind of look. And orange, we have that too. And that's called arc takao dark. It's not that much different as you can see. So it's, it flows together, it can be used. So arc dark takao, remember the name, window border scrolling down because this is defining this thing and the menu the menu is still red as you can see here so we're scrolling down to arc takao dark apply so now we have this color much better that color and the mouse cursor is a breeze snow icon theme is well, how do you call it casanova or something let's make it bigger poof Casablanca is the name. So okay, Casablanca, color, widget. So that's that set, nothing to be done here. And then the Alex appearance, we've done it, except the E is here still arc dark, so we have to change that as well. That's because of two systems working together. It's open box that works, but it's not a fully fledged desktop environment, so we have added XFCE elements, and of course XFCE has its own configuration programs, and that's why we have two open box configuration tools and XFCE uh, configuration tools. That will be always the case. Study Mono Papyrus, the font may be a little bigger if you like so, and for me. I think that's all set. Let's have a look again. So we went into, well, as I talked about the importance of these. I didn't go into this one, but the only thing I set in here is the size of my menu. So the menu header, this thing, eh, and the menu itself. That's the only thing I set there. And all the rest has been set inside here, here, and here. And this one does not need to be set, no. The Rofi, yeah, we could change the Rofi appearance. Termite is our terminal exit. Choose wallpaper, we've done that. So the last thing to change is the Rofi appearance. And that's, well, nothing to be changed. I mean, look at it, it is orange. By accident, it is already orange. So, okay, um, no problem here. Otherwise, you just go over the looks that we have, that we provide. As you can see, we have all kinds of colors. And they follow the arc themes. Can't go any faster. And here we are in the one I like. And the new mix dark, for instance, um, would be a good one. And here we have the arc dark transparent one. A little bit darker and not so yellow. But if you want to have this one, then you should do something. You should enter that's one thing and then alt a on the top it says so alt a to accept a new thing alt a and now we can try out try out and see okay we have this uh, all set up and this will be my new desktop for the coming day all right enjoy using arch labs enjoy using all the possibilities of teaming because there are so many possibilities i have now chosen i have chosen for an generated menu so you will see differences do not go into these guys well do go into these guys but i mean that our menu is made for you to well it's, it's concentrated fun what's in here this is all the change elements appearance stuff everything you want to to tweak your system with the look the desktop that's here of course uh, you can find them here as well but they are spread over two menus. They're in here, they're in here, and they're a little bit... Uh, well, this is generated by a program, OB Menu Generator. So we don't have any say in what comes in here or comes in here. But these parts, so this part is our doing, and that, that, and all the rest is our doing. But these elements are generated by the system, by OB Menu, Rater, OB menu Generator. So that's why you see here no structure, that's it's just alphabetically, that's it. Okay, so enjoy. Um, there's a lot of fun to be had in Arch Labs, a lot of tweaking. 
and you can change so many things. Enjoy!